external rotation. Maybe a little different than what's imagined in your trauma. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> There's a couple testing positions for external rotation. Um, when you look at the gravity eliminated position, when I'm looking at, here's my external rotation. I'm looking at external rotation of the humerus shoulder, external rotation. I need to start from neutral, neutral to internal or external rotation. My patient's going to be in prone. Shoulder abducted here and here. This is going to be my starting position. And I'm going to ask my patient to reach their hand back, reach it up. So that's internal. Yeah. That's external. So here, and now don't let me push you down. And again. Okay. For a gravity eliminated position, you have a couple options. You can do it in this position, or you would then have the patient perform external rotation in this position, external rotation of the humerus. You would want to make sure that you have oops, sorry, you've elevated the mat table so that their hand is not touching the floor and that's not an influence for them, and they're going to do external. So turn your palm out your palm out for external rotation. The other testing position, which is probably the one I've seen or used clinically the most, go ahead and sit up please, will be from a seated position, and it's right here, external rotation. Okay. So my hand placement, I can be on the clavicle, and scapula, I'm gonna provide that external, the resistance to external rotation at the distal end of the radius and ulna, so distal end of the forearm, okay, and push into my hand here. And I would really be in front of my patient, most likely when I do this, right? So my hands would kind of switch a little bit, it'd be push against my hand. or maybe on the side here, push against my hand here. All right.